We're in today with the legendary Radeon X850 XT. This is a 2004 video card. It's got uh, 256 megabytes of VRAM GDDR3 running with 520 megahertz on the core clock, 540 megahertz on the memory clock, 256 bits bus width. It's got DirectX 9 support. And today we're going to pair it up with this Intel Core 2 Quad Q9650 with four cores and four threads. The best thing I can do for this video card is just put many games as possible and see how it's performing because it needs the uptime this is a 2004 video card and it still holds today this is a legendary video card so let's play some games i want to see how this game is because i already got uh, a second uh, game from episode one <laughs> they are really fantastic when it comes to old uh, hardware and uh, i think this game is gonna run with uh, old video cards much better because this is an exaggeration because i'm only locked to 30 fps i can see nothing megabytes of vram utilized i, I keep restarting trying to install stuff and uh, yeah it doesn't show me any details so maybe i'm gonna try to see if i can put uh, new drivers it's very very weird to see this video card running like this but at the same time if i can see the fps i see the average i will call this a win and that's it that's the only thing that matters in this case very good performance overall from the video card but uh, it needs to be with all titles in order to work really nice but unfortunately this one it doesn't represent uh, the performance this video card can offer but at the same time you know i just want to install more games more older games and i want to see them running and in this case uh, yeah i want to play uh, uh, episode one look at him look at look at this plunker what are you doing on the system side what do i got here 30 percent load this is a single core uh, utilization in this case i got 100 percent uh, load on the third core 500 megabytes and 300 uh, virtual memory it's working i got um, i think i have a menu general options i got uh, 1150 i have a secondary monitor that i thought it would be 1280 or something like that but uh, damn because 1024 doesn't work with my capture card and it's very disappointing i was like what black screen okay i cannot do it it feels very cool to play this game with this uh, i mean <laughs> not with this video card uh, I, I wanted to see seriously the game uh, how it's performing and i was like okay if i have this video card i'm gonna start playing it and see how it's performing but this is uh, for my old machine with agp video card uh, that that is the right place for this game seriously so definitely so uh, episode one racer that is going there with agp video cards and phantom menace apparently is going to go there too nice game seriously to play on agp video cards with uh, with uh, this games battlefront on the other hand oh, it's got 1280 uh, this game apparently is working with that resolution and i got uh, 80 fps here with uh, this occasion i think very disappointed that it doesn't show me the vram uh, utilization or the core utilization come on how we did take this one we capture a command post i capture a command post you plonker i want to see the averages here because usually you can actually see it's holding pretty well on the cpu side i got the first core here it's very surprising how the cores are being utilized in games you know randomly you know one core uh, one game is taking the third core one game is the first core one game is the second core it's like all of the cores are being random taken seriously doesn't matter it's working only with one core here it's a single core cpu working really nice here with uh, 60 fps on uh, 76 on average got uh, really nice numbers here with 59 on minimal and 60 on one percent they have a, the average is fantastic that's the only thing that matters doom has a different type of uh, performance requirements i got 800 by 600 with uh, ultra quality actually hopefully it's going to utilize the video card properly I, I keep putting new drivers installing drivers uh, up and down left and right and it still doesn't show me the specs on the video card so you can actually see the quality the level of the details are uh, kind of good i got uh, no vram uh, shown here on the 
MS after burner so yeah it's, it's not that bad but at the same time if it's maintaining 60 fps with 800 by 600 this video card with ultra quality i will call this a, a win because this game is very demanding on the on the core if you put the maximum quality and adjust the resolution it can be a very big hog on the video card you know and utilize the vram the core everything because it's 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 awesome you know the game knows how to utilize the hardware properly and this is the only thing that matters on the system side i got 900 megabytes of uh, system ram utilized here with 700 uh, on the virtual memory i got uh, multiple cores utilized i got like 40 percent uh, load on the cpu with nearly 200 watts 190 watts consumption from the wall so i will say this computer with this video card is it, good it's a good combination from this and i like it this is cool to see this video card running like this all right so in this game it's running really nice you can put higher resolution and you can uh, stress the video card just a little more you know but uh, if it's running constantly like this we see managed to go around the map load it up a little it's it's doing really nice with 60 fps it doesn't drop too much and that's the only thing that matters definitely definitely love the performance here quality spot on so yeah doom with uh, this x850 uh, i think this is uh, this is awesome so the video card and the game itself is like a match made in heaven seriously let me explain why this is a very important game it feels very squishy and i'm gonna explain why i got 1280 on the resolution with maximum quality but i got 200 watts consumption from this the only thing that happened here that is fantastic i got 53 megabytes of vram allocated i don't know what happened i keep installing drivers restarting going up and down but now i realize it's even the game if the game doesn't show uh, the vram allocation with the video card and if it's not compatible then i can do nothing seriously look at this quality wise is good performance is good resolution is good everything is good i wish i had core utilization and uh, uh, fan speed and stuff like that because this is a hog of a video card and i wish i can hear it you know but uh, it's uh, it, it's very impossible to i think i need an old operator system in order to do that but regardless maybe one day maybe one day i'll get my hands on that uh, cool operating system that will allow me to utilize this video card at maximum look at that playing spider-man with an x850 what do you want more from this i like this idea and i think this is a good performance from the video card so quality wise is good performance is good this is how you have to put an old video card like this with spider-man 2 and it runs really nice <laughs> look how many fps i got why do i want to play with 40 50 fps today on the same game seriously this is gonna be a great game to test with this video card because i got 300 megabytes of vram <laughs> this is cool to actually see this performance from this okay so this is the driving and if i press 2 i can actually shoot let's see if somebody comes into my car nobody comes all right 1080p with maximum details this is a good performance from this and i think this is the only way i can uh, justify a video card like this doesn't show me the vram allocation but uh, it doesn't matter i got uh, nice performance from this and it's working really nice on the system side i got only one core utilized but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna cry over it. Let's play a little more. Maybe we get uh, lucky to have uh, a nice average. But until now, everything is good. Disappointed that I don't have the VRAM allocation because it would have been majestic in this case. But uh, even like this is still enough. Let me explain what I have here. This is majestic. I will show you. I got in this occasion 1080p with uh, high detail, anti-aliasing disable, anisotropic filtering. I think we can put this one on. And everything is turned on at maximum. 27, 30, 50 FPS. Holy smoke, it's utilizing the video card. I mean, the quality is spot on with this. You can actually see the lights and the reflection. Look at that looks great 20 fps <laughs> oh my okay so the quality is too much for this but that shows me that i can keep the resolution so the the specs the fps it's almost there it's almost there with this computer seriously 
So the resolution, it's an exaggeration. There is no discussion that 1080p you shouldn't put on in Witcher 1 with this video card. Idea would be to have like uh, 1280 or 1024 or 720p maximum with this let's start with 720p 720p it's magic but look at that 100 fps on average this is bananas it's actually doing the job with maximum quality in this case i mean quality is good performance is good everything is good on the system side i got like 30 35 percent load with one gig of system ram and 1.2 gig of virtual memory it's spilling everywhere seriously this load sometimes it's 20 30 fps look at that 30 fps 26 on minimal and 18 on one percent yeah but uh, the moment you, you go on another room or another place you get like 70 90 fps maximum um the average is everywhere i think there is needs to be a balance between the quality and the resolution this 720p apparently it's achieving nice performance that means instead of actually going from maximum to a medium quality preset but i just wanted to show you how it's performing here this is a good performance from this and i really appreciate it i had high expectation from this video card in this game seriously so i put 720p with uh, lowest quality and i was like yeah 720p i mean in so many games i play now with 1080p and even maximum details and i had hundreds of fps and i was like okay fallout is gonna work really nice with 720p is gonna give me over 60 fps and i can put more quality or lower the resolution no banana 50 fps look at this i don't have the vram allocation because it's stupid and i hate it but at the same time uh, i got 40 50 fps and i don't like it i know how to set it up maybe i can go four by three resolution by uh, 800 by 600 or 1024 and i can squeeze in some nice performance from there because there if on that resolution with this type of settings with this video card with the core that is got here can get uh, nice performance but uh, this game was done for eight series video cards and it was really nice for nine series when when this game came out that was uh, what i had you know eight and nine series that had uh, unified shaders but in this situation you can actually see the high-end uh, top g uh, x850 here it's uh, almost struggling seriously with this type of performance but it's not bad it's a good performance. I got 207, 208 uh, watts consumption from this, you know? So all in all, I can say the performance in Fallout, it's good, even though it's 30, 40 FPS. I like the idea that this game is offering here on the system side. I got a lot of cores utilized here with 30% with the second core at uh, almost at maximum one gig of system ram 700 uh, allocated it's it's good it's a good performance from this and I, I really like it so all in all this video card with this computer it does work but needs a lot of adjustments that's the only problem i have in fallout with this video card in stalker with uh, this uh, video card on 720p with static light with maximum details i'm gonna get 47 43 fps look at that <laughs> Whenever I'm looking at the door to the city, I'm getting so low FPS. I have to, low, I have to look from inside the city outside and I'm going to get nearly to 100 FPS. Look at that. This is the only time I'm seeing 250 watts consumption from this computer with this video card. I uh, wish I had more specs from this. I got uh, nice quality in this case with this video card and this computer. I got like 30% load on the CPU side with two cores utilized. 1.5 gig of uh, vram almost and 1.2 gig of uh, virtual memory so the cpu is being utilized actually no it's a single core i actually thought i had uh, more cores utilized here so the quality is maximum but it's uh, static light and you can actually see the, the there is a low it's like maximum quality in performance mode in fortnite that's how it feels in this case so i got uh, nearly 210 watt consumption performance performance uh, from the computer is good with the video card 50 fps in this case not bad you know i think uh, if i want more i have to put medium to low quality in order to get uh, nice performance if i want to keep the resolution the resolution is good because very compatible with the capture card and the monitor and uh, that's how it needs to start in this situation but until now everything is good like over 60 fps and that's the only thing that matters so yes yeah, stalker with this not bad i wish i had some um, interesting stats you know memory utilization gpu frequency nothing 
but it doesn't matter until now everything is good very good video card regardless if i have uh, problems with ms afterburner and it doesn't show me the specs it doesn't show me the vram utilization temperature i still like the video card how it's performing in this machine the only thing i want i want to do in the future is put more games other games and keep adding and building the library i think in the future is going to be very interesting to have like a, a list of games and how they are performing with each video card and then compare them because it will be very useful and i'm building on that this is a fantastic performance this video card managed to offer me today uh, performance I, I think that if i want to get a video card like this it's still achievable because there's a couple of uh, um lists that were online last time i checked and they were like really accessible for the video card the price was not very high end if you want to get like the top of a series if you're interested on getting one then uh, sometimes you can find a good deal do i recommend something like this no i recommend a video card that has uh, unified shaders and uh, it's going to be better for the computer and the games it's going to run much better and there's a lot of video cards nowadays that can be bought really cheap and they can perform much better than this one and they have a different type of uh, frequency memory capacity you know so yeah it needs to be a very good cheap video card that is not from 2004 that's the only thing i wanted to point it out you know this is a very old video card something uh, more newish now if you are interested in uh, something specific and you want to see something with this video card and in the future when i have to put this video card back and add more games if you have any suggestion ideal would be to leave a comment with the games that you want and uh, as usual you know if you manage to reach until now make sure you smash that like button and like always i will see you very soon